Hey, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I'm going to do a recipe that I did over a year ago, and I've had several people message me about it. But it is a recipe that, that is in my cookbook, and it's on page 39. But I'm going to tell you, when I made this a year ago or so, I had... I had one or two people that told me they didn't like the name of it. Well, I don't want to offend anybody, but if you Google this recipe, it's going to be my, the name that I'm giving it in my cookbook, and it's called White Trash Sliders. So, if you don't like that name, you will probably like this. And you just name it anything. You can name it cheesy sliders or whatever. But I started off, it calls, in the recipe, it calls for a pound of ground beef and a pound of breakfast sausage. You can use hot or mild. Well, I halved that and did a half a pound of each because I didn't want to have a lot for just Harold and me. And then it called for a pound of Velveeta, and that was for this whole recipe. So I chopped up a pound of Velveeta. Then I realized I have this recipe, so I'm only going to put half of that in here. And we're gonna let this melt. And while it's melting, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of onion powder. and a half a teaspoon of pepper. We're not gonna put salt because the cheese gives it the salty flavor. And uh, this makes a great party food, but it's gonna be a meal for Harold and me. But y'all, I, you know, I wouldn't offend you for anything, but that is, that's the name of this recipe. I didn't name it, but I sure do like it. It'll just take just a minute for that to, uh, for the cheese to melt. And I just wanted to thank all of you who ordered cookbooks over the weekend. Um, after we did the tour of the office, um, a lot of people that didn't know how, you know, that I had cookbooks have ordered. And this week, volume two is being submitted to the publishers in three or three and a half weeks. Harold doesn't like for me to give a time frame, but that's usually what it is for it to come in. And when volume two comes in, we're going to let you know. There's lots of good recipes in volume one. All right. When I drunk, when I browned the hamburger meat and the sausage, I drained it. So you would want to do that too. <clears throat> I had my chemo, my preventative chemo, chemo on Thursday of last week, and I have felt great. So I really think that um, it's going to be going to be fine and my radiation starts soon and I'm going to keep cooking all right now it smells so good with that onion powder and the sausage and cheese now what I have done is the recipe says to take some Hawaiian rolls <clears throat> and half them. Well, I got the Walmart brand and I, I'm not doing the whole bag because it's just us. But you're just gonna put, put some on here. And like I say, this is really a, an appetizer or a party food 
but it's really good when you don't want to cook a big meal too. You can use any brand of uh, breakfast sausage, whatever is your favorite. And I use mild sausage, but if you like a little, if you like hot, you can use it. But y'all, this is simple. It's easy. And it's mighty delicious. Have this with some y'all sweet tea. Mm. I love it. Now I say y'all sweet tea. It's not sweet unless you put sugar in it. You can make this tea and not add any sugar and you have unsweetened tea. But to me, the secret of this tea is not only the way the tea bags are made out of their tea, but it's the directions on the back that tell you how to make it. And I promise you, if you try it one time, you're gonna love it. And they're working on getting it in stores all around. I know the Piggly Wigglies here in Alabama are, are seeing it on their shelves, but it's delicious. But anyway, you try these cheesy white sliders, and like I say, it's on page 39 in volume one, and let me know how you like it. Y'all, this is another one of my shirts that they designed for me that says, Breast Cancer Thriver. This is perfect for you ladies who have battled breast cancer and you're cancer free. And if you happen to want one like this, it's on my website, mamasuesouthernkitchen.com. Go to store and you'll find it. But anyway, be salt and light wherever you go. Jesus is good all the time. And all the time, Jesus is good. I'll be back soon. <clears throat>